I totally kind of forgot about the call today. Had a couple of things going on with the family. I'm sure you guys know how that is. Um, let me see here. So, you know, sending out the email broadcast a little late. Everything's late. I'm about 15, 17 minutes late today. I am so sorry. Uh, my daughter wasn't feeling good this morning. So one thing led after, you know, to another and I was getting worried about her. Finally, she took a nap. She's feeling better. And I was like, oh man, I got to do the YouTube live. So just because of that whole thing this morning, I totally, it just, you know, your mind goes blank when you got kids to worry about. So again, I wasn't able to sell uh, to send the email invite. What's good? <laughs> I'm late. That's what's good. I'm late. I wasn't able to send the email invite, and uh, everything is late. So I just wanted to come on and keep it consistent and tell everybody, sorry, I'm super late. <laughs> but uh, I have no real agenda today on the call. Uh, nothing really planned to talk about like I usually do. So we're just going to go by ear today um, just for very quickly 15-20 minutes answer some Q&A about you guys say what's up and uh, and call it a day alright. Cool you got the YouTube notice that's great. Um, again you know I had some issues with my daughter this morning Totally forgot about the, the, the show today. I didn't forget about it. It's just things happened and I just couldn't, you know, it, it was a little tough this morning. So hopefully you guys understand. And uh, anyway, 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 how's everybody going? Let's just make this a, a whole informal uh, chat today. How's everybody doing today? Yeah, we're going to reschedule. We'll be back on next week. Right, we need to appoint you a online assistant. <laughs> uh, hope hope everything's doing well. Let me turn a little bit of light on here. Shane from California, first timer. Welcome, Shane. Again, usually we do these at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central. But I uh, had a couple of home issues. So anyway... How's everybody doing today? Let me slap myself out of it. Hope all is well. 10.20 here. Uh, AM in Japan. I will be back in the United States next week. Raul from Minnesota. The daughter is okay now. She wasn't feeling good this morning, early this morning. But now she's okay. So that's why I'm late. Great brother. Yep, all is well. Aladdin. Cool, cool, cool. So thanks for getting on tonight. You know, like I said, I, I wasn't able to send the, the actual email invite to everyone. So we got, you know, we don't have as many people on today. Just some of the subscribers hopping on, straggling on. And I want to say thank you for that. Um... You guys want to see what Japanese money looks like? So Japanese money looks like 50, 5,000 yen. I'll show you what the 10,000 yen looks like. 10,000 yen. And then we get the 1,000 yen called Sen Yen. San Bernardo VIP long time. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, so let's open it up to basic Q&A today. Uh, like I said, I don't have any set topic to talk about in the beginning. What's a good body filler that you like? Um, Evercoat is a good brand. I like Evercoat body filler. Rage is another good brand. Okay, then you got the basic, um, you know, Bondo brand if you want. Fernando says, that's cool. I love Japanese culture. Thanks for sharing. What's up, Mr. Mitchell, Ricardo, Aladdin, Fernando, Raul, Anthony Cheney, Eric Gonzalez, 
If you mix different dry pearl together, will you get a different color or would you get colors that you mixed? Um, you'd pretty much get a different looking color, Eric. Uh, I've actually done a lot of testing with pearls over the years. And it also depends on what base you put it over. Like sometimes if you put, not sometimes, most of the time if you put gold pearl over black base it turns to like a, a goldish greenish sometimes it depends on the pearl that you use Joe first time catching you live Tony awesome Joe uh, so Eric you can also mix pearls in your clear coat and that's what I like to do you can use an inner coat which is like a clear base coat okay so you spray, let's say you're doing uh, a white base coat, right? Your white base coat, psh, laid it on, you're ready. You can actually mix a intercoat, which is a clear base coat where you put your pearls in. You spray that over so if you, you know, you don't run it as much, right? You don't run it if you're doing base coat. Base coat's hard to run unless you're really soaking it on. What's up, Alan from Brazil? And, uh, and then you would put your clear coat on top of that, plain clear. But you could also mix your pearls right into your clear coat and spray it. The only thing is you got to be careful to not to run. Because if you run pearl in clear coat or flake in clear coat, you're going to get that drippy pearl. And then if you try to color sand and buff that, you might have that, that, you know, that drip of pearl. But I usually like to just mix it in my clear coat because it's easy. You get it in, you're done. And the pearls are so fine that you don't have to actually lay a, a solid clear on top of it. You could just finish off with two coats of clear with pearl in it, and then you're done. Uh, but if you want to, you could spray a clear coat, uh, just a, a just clear on top of your pearl with clear. So you could do two coats of pearl with clear, and then another coat of just clear coat on top of that. That's all fine. What's up, Hank? How you doing, buddy? Eric, I want to go over a 10, but I want to do blue, red, and green. That's going to be a crazy color. I wouldn't go so much different colors like that because it's going to turn out looking kind of funky looking. I would pick, you know, maybe two pearls. But if you start mixing like that, you're going to get a color change for sure. Uh, what you think? think about this spray on chrome I think spray on chrome is cool there's a bunch of different kits out there um, and usually you're gonna be spraying that chrome over black over a black base coat because the black is the foundation to spray uh, chrome over Ricardo says I did the quarter panel of my Yukon about a month ago and the clear coat is kind of flaking what is the hell what what the hell did I do wrong Ricardo, I don't know. I don't know what you did. You know, it could be bad clear. It could be improper sanding. You know, it's kind of odd to have it flake like that. So basically, you got to do the job over. You got to sand it all off, sand it smooth, put a fresh coat of base on it, and some new clear. Make sure you're using a good clear coat. I don't know what you did. Ricardo, if you want to explain to me the steps that you did, maybe I can help you, you know, diagnose what the issue is but just from you telling me that it's, it's hard for me to tell you what you kind of did wrong uh, yeah you could spray chrome candy you get the chrome on it and then you spray your candy color on top of that which gives you your chrome candy can most two primers be base coated and cleared yes you mean most 2k primers you're asking, Joe Green is asking, Mean Joe Green is asking, can can you base coat and clear over 2K primer? I think that's what you're saying. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Raul, yellow spots on final paint. The color is white parts where I put Bondo. Why? Okay. So probably because you didn't seal it. Your Bondo is bleeding through. Maybe you didn't put enough primer on your Bondo, right? You didn't get it fully sealed with a, with a good 2K primer and then sanded properly. That's what I would think. That's why it's bleeding through. 
you want to make sure you always paint over, you prime over your bodywork, okay, to seal it up. Make sure it's it's sanded with 400 grit, then you do your base coat. And make sure when you do your base coat, you're not laid on too thin either. You want to make sure you put a, a good heavy base on it, two to three coats. Best primers to use. I would use a 2K primer, a filler primer. Doesn't matter what brand, you know, it all depends on your budget. But I like Evercoat. I use polyester primer, Evercoat. It's a good filler primer. It fills up all the imperfections. You could sand it to a 400 grit smooth. For all of you guys who never got my free auto body book, there's a lot of information in there as well. I'll give you the link to that right here. You can get a free auto body book right there. Uh, have you ever used all candy clear? No, I have not. Try it out. Test it. There's so many products out there. So Hank just did a job with all candy clear. How'd that come out, Hank? What is my thoughts on expanding foam? I think expanding foam is great. All candy is one, the best high so one of the best high solid clear. So if you want to test it out, try it. I like the House of Color products. I'm kind of hooked on the House of Color clears. I primed the corner with 2K, bought the base from the local paint store, and used a clear from my cousin that he had left from last year. So it's possible, Ricardo, that your clear was old. Sometimes your clears can get old like that. You know, if it's not mixed properly, you get that. You know? Nice. It was actually a laptop for my daughter. Used Color Shift Pearl. And all candy wet plus used 400 to sand. Well, 400 is a good base to clear over. So uh, I, you know, I think you're good. 400 is a good base to a good foundation to base coat and clear over is what I meant to say. So Hank said he wanted to test out that all that clear on a, a small thing before. Hank, what did you pay for a gallon uh, setup for that clear coat? <clears throat> what's what's it cost for a gallon kit? Or maybe you got a smaller kit. <clears throat> How many first timers on the call tonight? Just out of curiosity, type in first timer. This is your first time on a live call. I'm usually a little bit more active, but I had a kind of rough morning today. Quart, it was about 60 bucks for a quart kit. That's, that's, about, that's about average, I would say. No problem, Ricardo. Did you get a medium hardener, Hank? What does that come with, Hank? Does that come with the reducer and hardener or just hardener? What's the mixture on that? Is it 2 to 1 or 4 to 1 or 4 one, one? Or two one one. What's the mixture, Hank? Including the hardener activator. So it's only a only a hardener. So you just get clear coat and hardener. First time Aladdin. What's going on, brother? Second time here from Canada, Fernando. Thanks. Yeah, so we're on every week this time, 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern. Just a hardener, two to one. And I got a slow hardener because it was nine degrees. Perfect, perfect, Hank, great idea. Because you wanna give it time to flow out, especially if it's hot. How, how did it dry, Hank? Did it dry pretty glossy? How was the dye back? Because usually, you know, depending on clears, you wait a week or two, you'll start to, the, the, the gloss will kind of die off. Um, and I notice with high-end clears, you don't get that as much. You know, especially with the House of Colors that I've been using, the dieback is very, very, very low. Mirror finish. Awesome. 
We need a first timer corner called Auto Body First Timers Corner. <laughs> first timer from San Jose, California, Manuel. First time watching live. This is supposed to be very slow, low dieback. Yeah, it's the same with the uh, with the House of Color clears. Very low dieback, which is nice. But the the thing is, guys, is if you're using a cheaper clear coat and you do get dieback, and again, dieback is after you spray your clear coat, you're gonna be like, wow, it looks amazing. You know, the day after, it looks amazing. But two, three weeks later, it's like, why is my clear kind of dull looking? You know, it's not like dull, dull, but the shine, it kind of lost its shine. That's called dieback. That happens when your clear coat starts to cure, when your paint cures and the solvents start evaporating from your clear and it's it's clear, it's clear hardening up, it starts to lose its gloss. But the way to fix that, and it could be 100% fixed, is to basically color sand and buff it. And you know, we show you exactly step by step how to color sand and buff it to a pro gloss and when you do that, you won't be able to tell if you use a high-end clear or a low-end clear. You know, color sanding and buffing will fix that because you can get that mirror finish um, from that job. And, you know, the same thing goes with using a high-end clear coat. If you're using a high-end clear coat, you're still all, you know, you could have a high gloss, but you can still have a textured high gloss where it looks like a little bit of orange peely, right? A little bit, which is normal. You, you look at new cars today and you're still going to get that. But if you want to get that flat mirror finish, you know, every custom hot rod show job that you see out there in car shows and SEMA, they all wet sanded and buffed out. So you basically get 2000 grit, block sand it flat until it looks flat matte. And when you buff that, it looks like, a, I like to say it looks like a seal's back or a dolphin's back. You know, when they come out of the water and it just looks like mirror glass. That's what it looks like. And when you're color sanding, in, when you're color sanding, that's what you want it to look like when you're sanding it. Because you're going to be using water, your water sanding, and it's going to look so glossy and clear, right? But when you dry it, it's flat matte. But you know when you buff it, after you do your compound and your glaze, it's going to look amazing. All right. So... Mean Joe Green. I, I Right now, we use the Warix. So you can check out our shop, uh, good spray guns for fraction of the cost. Um, the 904 HE and the 980 HE are amazing guns. You basically get you know high-end quality spray guns for a fraction of the cost, and we get amazing results with those guns. Uh, which do you prefer, TIG or MIG? It depends on what you're doing, Anthony. Um, I haven't been messing around with welding a lot lately, uh, but I do have a MIG welder, personally, in my shop. Uh, TIGs are awesome as well. Um, what else? Finally got a chance to get on after attempting for the past three weeks. <laughs> What's up? What's up, Joe from Texas? Welcome on. And you know what? I'm actually I was actually about 15 minutes late today. I had an issue with my daughter. Yes, we're going to be doing a spray gun giveaway again. We will be doing that. Uh, I got to get back home. You know, I've been away for a couple of weeks. Once I get back home, maybe we'll do something pretty cool. Um, I think I'm going to do more of a raffle style this time where you buy a, a $5 ticket or a $10 ticket and um, we give away some spray guns. Does that sound cool? Um, we're also going to have some new shirts made. I'm going to have some shirts for, for the auto body group here. So I think that's going to be amazing as well. Uh, the connection is doing pretty good today. Pretty good, pretty good. Tony, what's the longest it's taken you to sell a car? The Mouth Storm. This is an auto body live stream today. <laughs> Yesterday was the how to buy and sell cars for profit. <laughs> now, I mean, sometimes it depends, you know. Sometimes I've sat on a car for over a month. It all depends on how quickly you want to get rid of it or how 
you know, how much of a loss you want to take on it sometimes if you're looking to just get rid of the car and break even or, or take a loss to move on. What's up, Andy? How you doing, Andy? Josh, awesome. Sounds like a good idea. Great, great, great idea. So yeah, we'll be doing maybe a, a $10 raffle, 5 or $10 raffle where you buy a ticket uh, to, to enter to win a, you know, two to $300 spray gun kit. Um, and we'll send it out to you. I think that'll be cool. Hopefully we get, we get a bunch of people on where, where it's, uh, where it makes sense for me to do it, you know? Uh, let's see what else. Good man. New to the channel. Love the live broadcast. Awesome. So here, get the free auto body manual. If you haven't, there's 85 pages of pure content for all you newbies on here. You could print it out um, and just get a whole bunch of ideas and tips and tricks on auto body. It's literally took me close to five, six months to write the book. 85 pages of pure content, no fluff, you know, all kinds of Q&A in there. So download it. It's a free PDF. You could download it uh, or you could print it out. I like to personally print out PDFs when I get them. Online, this way I could, you know, on my downtime, I don't have to be on the computer to actually get my info. I could have a, have it printed out, write some notes, circle some stuff, highlight, you know. Um, where do you get my paint from? I get my paint from English Color right down the street from me. Uh, they have a, they have stores all over the United States. English Color. Uh, there's, you know, auto body paint shops all over the country where auto body shops go to buy their paint because not every auto body shop has their own paint mixing system <clears throat> uh, where they make their own paint. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, most of these guys, we, we go out, we order paint from the body shop, from the paint shops. They come with the machine, get the color code, or you can go there and uh, give them a piece of the car, like a gas cap or something, or, or you know, a, part of the fender where you're, you know, closing, wherever you're painting, you want to give them a section of that car if you can. If not, you drive the car down to the body shop and you, uh, and you do that. So Andy says more Godfather type stuff. It was great. Yeah, that was awesome. We got a lot of positive feedback on the Godfather project and the VIP course. Uh, a lot of people like that. Um, also, uh, my Godfather actually backed up his brand new two, 2003 16 Subaru Outback into a mailbox so that's actually we're going to be doing a Godfather project on that he's excited to do it <laughs> I told him everybody liked that series in VIP so he's excited he's like yeah let's we're gonna have to do a Godfather part two so that's what we got uh it's going to be a spot repair quarter panel spot repair one day job uh you know body work prep prime painted all in one day uh, so Jonathan says, how should I go about a paint booth? Well, you don't need a paint booth to get professional results. You really don't. You get it done in your garage. Um, we show you all kinds of ways in VIP. If you're interested, check out VIP. Uh, and we show you different ways. Uh, but if you are, you know, really wanting to do it in a spray booth, rent a spray booth. Go to your auto body district, the red light district. And go around and say, hey, can I rent your spray booth? You don't want to rent your spray booth for a half a day. Or you go in the morning, paint the car. You go in the evening, paint the car, pick it up the next morning, however you want to do it. Uh, when my dad, you know, when we were in our prime, we had our huge body shop. Uh, we were renting our spray booth. for, And we were making about $6,000 a month just renting our spray booth. Just renting it out uh, to a body shop, to some custom, you know, custom you know, so to some kids who are doing custom body work who wanted to rent the, sh the spray booth for a day, we charge them 150 bucks. Uh, and we had a guy who who were who had a body shop across the street, but he wanted to rent our spray. But he was giving us 2,500 a month just to rent the spray booth. So it's it's a money it's a money business too. You know, if you if you wanted to get into something like that. Uh, Ant dog, I painted my car last night in my garage. How'd that thing come out? Wings come Monday, two car garage, tight fit. That's awesome. 
Got the Cessna 150 home tonight to begin paint project. Paul, are you a VIP member? Yeah, how'd your came out came out nicely. <laughs> Sweet. Guys, I wish I can stay on longer, but my computer, my laptop is only I only have 6% battery left uh, hopefully it'll last another five minutes this way we are on for 30 minutes oh that's awesome Paul so you're painting a plane a Cessna plane is that what that what that is Paul give me some feedback dude you need to keep in touch with me like personally send me photos and email me back I want to see this project like I want to see your plane Cessna 150, is that a four-seater? My brother's a pilot. He just actually sold one of his planes. It was a six-seater. Oh, uh, I forgot what the hell it was. Paul, please, Paul, send me pictures. I want to see this. I got to see this. Where are you located? I want to come and check it out. That is awesome. I want to be around somebody who's painting a plane. Like, I... That is like freaking cool. Like, never mind. I'm just two miles from you. Get out of here. Are you serious, Paul? <laughs> Oops. Hello. Are we? Are we still? What did I do? Hopefully, we're still live. What did I do? Hopefully we come back. Am I streaming? I did something. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Sorry guys, Denton. Paul. Your guy, that is awesome. How about, would you be interested in if I came out to say what's up or what? That would be awesome. We should do some 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 video together if you're interested let me know i will be back in town the next week or so you need to contact me and uh we should set something up if you're down to be on video we could do a youtube special you and i uh let's see mega Morrow work okay John how much no you didn't miss too much we actually just cut out for a couple of seconds I, I pushed something here yeah awesome that is awesome Paul I would love to see what you're working on there well yeah, we'll, we'll talk. We'll talk. Paul Bridges, make sure you contact me. We got to start it up. You're good. Okay, great. So my laptop is literally on 4%. My charger is downstairs. So if I get out of here, the connection is going to cut. <clears throat> and I'm afraid if I go and come back, like I got to go downstairs and get in and come back, the computer is going to be dead. So we will just keep streaming until my laptop dies. <clears throat> uh, so Andy says, what are the first tools to buy after a beginning painter? So I'm thinking you're asking what, what tools are you looking to get for auto body and paint, right? So uh, it's nice to have an orbital sander, a DA, right, to cut some time. Uh, it's nice to have a spray gun. It's nice to have a buffer, uh, some hammers and dolly, you know, some, some body tools so you can do some basic body work. Maybe a stud gun if you get the extra money, 150 bucks for a stud gun. Uh, air compressor, you're going to need this little small air compressor, right, um, to, to, to power your tools. Uh, that's pretty much it. And then you need some material, some sandpapers, some masking tape paper paint stuff like that 
All right, that's the basics. And I give you a lot of the basics here. I mean, check out the blog as well. So right here, you could actually go to the blog at learnautobodyandpaint.com. There's a lot of topics on there, a lot of information there, a lot of free information all over the website. It's literally filled with hundreds of pages of content. Uh, and we have videos all over and, and blog posts all over on that on that site there and you could also download your 85 page auto body paint manual so J josh johnson says what is a good company to buy hammer and dollies from it all depends i mean go to amazon check out amazon there's a lot of dollies it's i mean basically you're just getting a hammer and dolly it doesn't have to be anything really special right there's a, there's a lot of brands check out a check out azon amazon um, do you recommend a straight sander from Harbor Freight? Uh, just be wary with Harbor Freight tools. Some of them are really cheaply made and, they, and they're not that great. But if you have a very low budget and that's all you could work with right now, then do it. You know, do it. It's probably better than not having a straight sander. I got the Hutchins Hustler model, which is which was costed me about 250 10 years ago. 250 bucks, maybe more than 10 years ago probably close to 15 years ago, and it still works great. Um, yes, of course, Andy. Can you take a video on sanding body lines, curves after applying Bondo? Yes, absolutely. We have those videos um, on the blog here as well as our YouTube channel. It's already there. Uh, but if you're interested in more of a step-by-step -step detail, be sure to check out VIP. Um, everything's organized step by step. Uh, we got the main manual. 2X Las Vegas VIP member. What's going on? Guys, again, my laptop is at 2%. So this thing's going to be cutting out very, very, very shortly. El Cheapo Paint video. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, that was done pretty gangsterly. I actually have another El Cheapo paint job that we're going to be doing uh, within the next couple of months. We're going to be doing one on my godfather's uh, old Toyota. <clears throat> so uh, that's going to be amazing as well. So guys, I'm at like literally 1.5%, 2% here of battery life left. Um, again, Paul, contact me, you know, if you want, we can set something up. I can come by, we can do a video of your plane, check it out. I can give you some pointers, tips, tricks, and, uh, and check out and check out what you got going. I think that'd be awesome. If you're up in Denton, you're not too far from me. All right. So keep in contact, contact support, tell them that you want to contact me and we'll get in contact and, uh, it'd be, it'd be nice to meet you. So here is the auto body blog. Here is the link to VIP for all of you newbies who are interested in checking out VIP. Check it out. I want to say thank you all for getting on. This is literally going to cut out in the next couple of seconds here. I am done. <laughs> next week we will be on again. Thanks for coming on, guys. I didn't send out uh, the email. I'm sorry about that. We're on late. I had My daughter wasn't feeling good this morning. Um, thank you so much, people, for getting on. I will see you on next week. Again, same time, hopefully. Uh, yes, I'll be fine next week. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Have a great weekend. Have a fun weekend, safe weekend. I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much. Anthony says, Harbor Freight straight line sander is horrible. You might want to take his word. Yes, check out the site. Cheers, everyone. Bye. Oh, it cut out.